things keep getting worse for Josh Gordon. The troubled Browns wide receiver reportedly is facing jail time over failure to pay child support, according to a report by TMZ. The mother of Gordon's three-year-old daughter recently won a court order forcing Gordon to pay $6,765 per month in child support beginning August. 1. The deadline came and went, and the woman's lawyer claims Gordon has not paid up. Gordon's lawyer is claiming the former pro bowler won't receive his first paycheck until the season begins, but core documents obtained by TMC lay out a clear set of penalties for violating the order. Those penalties include 30 days in jail for the first violation, 60 days for the second and 90 days for the third. This revelation is just the latest in a long line of troubles for Gordon as he ramps up for the season. He was not part of Brown's training camp this offseason as he chose to focus on his overall health and treatment plan, including anxiety issues and drug and alcohol addiction. Since hauling in nine touchdown passes for 1,646 yards and being named a first-team All-Pro in 2013, Gordon has played just 10 games in four years for the Browns while serving multiple suspensions for violating the NFL substance abuse policy. The Browns also have been inquiring about signing Cowboys cast-off Des Bryant, who could slide into Gordon's spot on the roster if Gordon has any more trouble getting on the field. Gordon reportedly is in Gainesville, Florida, under the care of an NFL-sanctioned medical team and has yet to play this preseason. The Browns said they expect him back. But when asked directly, the team's general manager, John Dorsey, was more circumspect. We'll see when he gets here, Dorsey told reporters. Now, with the child support allegations hanging over Gordon's head, Dorsey may be forced to amend his statement to if he gets here, 